This rooster is gorgeous. All these bright colors, the little Dalmatian effect. Notice how you do the strokes. These feathers are long like this. These are little, little strokes, long strokes. Now, if you know something wrong with this picture, I'm painting the subject, I'm not painting the background. While I do want the background to be very, very simple and just a little vignette, I need to have some of it. And I need to paint it at the same time. So you have all this straw. Since the feet are kind of a bluish um, light color, I want this yellow to show up. And just put a little bit around, especially like right there. If you do something on one side of an object, you need to have it on the other side. This right here is very iridescent. Long sweeping strokes. Okay, I use some phthalo blue right there. And then I'm going to put a little bit in over here just to pull it all together. Called. See how that's pulling out. Using a little bit of cobalt. I just want this shadow here deeper. And I might as well deepen up a couple areas in here. It's not going to ruin how iridescent and beautiful it is. Stalo blue. Just dash it around. A little bit underneath. Now that this is dried, the first thing I want to do is add a few strong darks. Since these feathers are so iridescent, I want to make sure that I leave plenty of the white paper that will look like the iridescent showing up. Right up here there are a lot of darks which contrast nicely with the lighter feathers. Some more detail. Very prop looking. Now I'm bleeding in some quinacridone gold. And 
And I'm going to pull this down right here on the lag with a little bit of texture. Warm it up with a couple drops of Thalo Blue. And some quinacridone gold. Just the little touch of an eye makes such a difference. Need a couple strong darks. And that looks like a good one. A yellow green down here. Yeah, that rounds it a little bit. Now I'm going to take this cadmium red a little bit here, some here, and bleeding in here. And then A little bit more action. Same thing with the cobalt blue. Now remember the wonderful thing about that is since I'm using colors that I use all over the place, if I don't like exactly where one of those ended up, I just change it. I'm going to let this dry. There is one major thing that this painting is missing. And that's a shadow. So the light's coming from here. I'm just doing a very, very loose shadow. this bluer As I'm leaving whites, just breaking them up a little. This right in here is just not darkening as much. So here's one more layer. And I believe that will do it. <laughs> 